Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Dave. Today's video, I'm just going to take you through a quick wash of my 2004 Corvette. Uh, tomorrow I'm going out to Corvettes at Carlisle, and of course, you can't go out with a dirty car. So let me take you through a quick car wash. I haven't done any uh, car related videos in two months and uh, actually since that video I've only washed the car once probably about a month and a half ago so the car is actually pretty dirty and right now my next door neighbor he's raising his house up uh, I live in a flood zone here in Jersey so uh, a lot of houses are are going up uh, recently so actually I just saw today that I uh, got some dried up concrete on here that I got to take care of um, but the rest of the car is pretty dirty I mean you know it's a month and a half, but we'll get it all cleaned up. Even even the wheels are pretty bad shape. So let's get started. First, uh, we'll go over the wheels, and uh, we'll get to it. All right, guys. So like I said, I'm just gonna start off with the wheels here. Just gonna hose these down. All right. I'm gonna come over to here. Uh, my wheel cleaner. I use uh, McGuire's wheel brightener. Just spray this on here. Like I said, it's been quite some time since I cleaned these wheels, cleaned the whole car really. So, uh, start off with the wheels because as you can see, I mean, dirt and slop gets everywhere. So, let's a little bit on here. Put the hose back. My wheel bucket here has seen better days. Just put a little bit more out here. Wheel brush. clean well, the wheel anyway now we're gonna go in we're gonna do the uh, tire as well this is um, a wire super degreaser uh, ratio is four to one this is an IK foam sprayer 1.5 actually got this thing probably like three months ago I love it for doing this exact thing uh, kind of saves just on squeezing the trigger so many times all right just fold that down Come here get this see how those wheels turn a little bit brownish there so we'll go in here and we'll do, do this again spray, that off. spray this again Still a little brown, as you can see, so we'll hit it one more time. Just do this there we go. Now, as you see, all that foam is staying white. So, I mean, the tire's not perfectly clean, of course, but a lot better than it was when I initially started. Okay. That's good there. We'll spray down the uh, fender well a little bit. Get this brush back out again. Okay. Wash all this down. Alright, so now I'll do that to the rest of the uh, wheels. And then once I'm done with all that, I'll bring it back in. All 
All right, guys, now after I did the wheels, we're gonna get going on doing the paint. Uh, all four wheels are done. I just have to come back and I'll hit these with some uh, tire shine once we're all done here. Um, of course, in a perfect world, I'd be doing this when the car is completely in the shade, but uh, I have some things I have to do tonight and I wanted to get this video filmed and uploaded uh, before I do that. Cause I'm probably not going to be able to get back home until after dark and I'm not going to want to do it then. I'm um, going to do a two bucket wash. Uh, we've seen this probably a million times. This is my wash bucket. This is my rinse bucket. Uh, this is a soap that I use. Uh, Mr. Pink from uh, Chemical Guys. Uh, I like the way it smells. Uh, it does a decent job. The uh, wash mitt that I have is a Adams uh, wash mitt. I forget if this is uh, 10 or 12 inches. Uh, Nah, just kidding uh, something like that but uh it's a good good wash mitt so uh we'll get going into rinsing the car down and then uh once we get all this rinsed off these damn tail lights man look how dirty they, these tail lights get it's ridiculous anyway uh, i'll rinse this down and then we'll get into washing All right, so now with the car pre-rinsed, let's go into washing it. Start at the top, and we'll work our way down. Now I'm trying to work as quick as possible with this, just because, you know, the car is in partially in the sun. I started off with the shady side, just so... You know, when the car's sitting for a little while with the soap on it, at least it's the shady side and it won't be, uh, you know, it won't dry as fast. So, I'm going to come back in here into the rinse bucket. Just rinse that off. Rub that on the, I uh, forgot to mention, I have grit guards at the bottom of each one. Uh, let's see where it goes out. Grit guard and then one on the wash bucket side as well. And I just rinse this out. Or squeeze it out then I come back in here get a little bit of soap on here then we'll get right back at it so at the top of the panel work your way down all right flip that over now go to the door Luckily, a lot of the stuff that was on here, since I waxed it pretty well the last time I did wash it, all this dirt and grime and even that concrete that was on the other side, or cement, whatever, uh, mortar, whatever you want to call it, a lot of that came right off already. So that's one plus of, you know, always putting a good coat of wax on everything. Once again, come back in here in the rinse bucket. So I just wanted to mention too, if anybody else is going out to Carlisle, uh, just leave a comment down below. Um, I'm probably heading out here from, from the Jersey side. Uh, I think around like 6 o'clock in the morning. Uh, typically, we leave around 6. Catch some, we stop for breakfast that probably either right before we cross into Pennsylvania or just before we uh, leave New Jersey. And then uh, from there, we head over to Carlisle. We're usually there around like 10 o'clock or so. Um, I know Rusty, who's been a subscriber since the beginning, he got his car uh, wrapped by Inchain Designs. Shoot, I don't even know when that was. That was, I don't know, maybe like a year ago. I don't even know. No, not quite a year ago, because obviously you didn't have it by Carlisle last year. But maybe like six months ago or something like that. So, uh, I know he's going to be at the Interesting Designs booth. Uh, Seagarner Speed 252, I think his numbers are. I know he's going to be there. Front seat driver is going to be there. Uh, Brink of Speed is going to be there. I think they're all going to be at uh, 
Sea Garner Speeds uh, booth or tent, whatever you want to call it. So probably meet those guys, and then of course if anybody recognizes me, come up say hi. Uh, that would be pretty cool. I mean, I only have like I think at the making of this video 605 subscribers, so kind of highly doubt anybody's gonna recognize me, but hey, you never know, right? And then, of course, speaking of those 605 subscribers, uh, since my last real car video, which was the touch-up paint video, um, that was like two months ago, I think I've gotten like 200 subscribers since then, something like that, which is friggin' awesome. I mean, for not really putting out any content, I appreciate you guys supporting the channel, supporting me. Um, got some bug guts on the front of this. So, like I said, I greatly appreciate everybody's support. Um, I enjoy everybody's comments. I respond to everybody's comments. Uh, also, I have an Instagram account. I'll put uh, my Instagram up right now. Go on there. You can follow me on Instagram. All right. So that's that. And then we'll do the top on the other side. Like I said, did the shady side first this way. You know, this side's not going to dry nearly as quick as the sun, shot, the sun side. So now I can go to work fast on the sunny side get all that done get that all rinsed off relatively quickly yeah you can feel how hot this paint is already and i'll flip that over i'll do this top section Speak a little bit about Carlisle for a little while. Uh, if you watch this channel, you probably know what Corvettes of Carlisle is because you're probably a Corvette fan like myself. Or even if you're just a, you enjoy cars, you may know what Corvettes of Carlisle is. Uh, it's basically just a huge Corvette car show. It takes place usually, I think it's always, what is this, the third or fourth weekend in August? I don't even know always takes place the same time every year in august and i forget how many thousands of cars that they have but thousands of cars all the big vendors come out you know all the exhaust manufacturers corsa borla billy boat all those guys they all come out all the vendors so you can even like order order like an exhaust and they'll put it on right there for you or maybe if you're torn you don't even know what exhaust you want uh you know you can listen to you youtube videos all day long but you know everybody's sound quality is different everybody's equipment is different some people install headers so you, you never know what the true sound is going to be and you can hear all the different sounds while you're out there which is pretty cool that's how i decided to get uh billy boats um heard them out there last year and uh just love the sound of them so course you know you can't go wrong with any of them but just brand it up that you can hear them all like this the bottom of this always hit that bottom last oh shit i forgot to do the back of the car oh well Now this is just a quick wash, just flying through it, just to get this looking a lot better than it did, you know, 25, 20, 25 minutes ago, because it was pretty bad. Um, because obviously, like I said, you can't, can't go to the biggest Corvette show, bring your Corvette out, 
and have it looking dirty so I actually did the tips when I did the wheels so that's why I'm not touching those now fucking so with my fucking eye alright rinse that off I think I gotta do a bottom rocker panel on this side still and then this will be all done I think I did the whole car. So let's get into rinsing it off, get one final rinse. Now I know I had a video, one of my first videos, actually, I think it may have been my second video. I showed uh, how to do a rinseless wash or waterless wash, whichever term you want to use using uh optimum no rinse on our uh the, the dirt on this car i felt was a little bit a little bit more dirt than i'm comfortable using onr for so that's why i'm doing an actual two bucket wash just to get i mean it, like i said this dirt was on here for over a month so and even i mean you can see it's not really beating up all that well so probably a lot of the wax you know deteriorated over time i mean yeah you can even see it right here i mean a little bit but not not all that much so i'll probably just looking at that now i'm gonna probably put another coat of wax on over the whole thing and i'll see how much time i have i may just have to do just a spray wax for now and then come back and do this wash this after i come back from carlisle because you know carlisle's it's a three hour drive for me, so I don't know, what is that, like probably over 200 miles from here to Carlisle, give or take. So in one direction. So I'm gonna be putting 400 miles on the car tomorrow. I'm gonna wanna wash it when I get back. So maybe I'll, I'll wash it and wax, give it a full wax and then, and right now I'll just give it a spray wax. All right, there's that. So now what I did use to dry the car off initially is I just use my leaf blower and then just go to town. So I'll uh, I'll run some music or something like that. Or maybe I'll just cut to me being done blow drying it. Alright, see you in a bit. Alright guys, after drying off the car, I did not realize that the uh, battery on my GoPro died. Um, I didn't have any time, or I don't have any time to uh, give the car like a proper proper sealant, put a proper sealant on it or a paste wax. So all I did was use uh, Meguiar's Express Spray Wax with uh, the Red Company's Pluffle Towel. Uh, use, that, use that combination both as a drying aid and to also put some type of protection down on the car uh, for the drive to Carlisle. Um, now the drive is about 200 miles in each direction so about 400 miles so i just wanted to put that protection on there for that and then of course when i come back home i'll actually have to do this wash all over again just to get all the real grime and all that off of it um then once i put the spray wax on there i followed it up with uh, mcguire's hyper dressing um now mcguire's hyper dressing you can dilute it you know four to one three to one two to one or one to one um those ratios will give you different gloss uh four to one is like a natural finish three to one is a satin finish medium gloss is two to one and a one to one is high gloss i believe this bottle is diluted somewhere between two to one and three to one um so that's the finish that it gives you uh you know it's not too shiny but it's not too too dull either so it's kind of the look that i like um obviously if you like it a little bit shinier you can either you know dilute it one to one or you can just go over this again go over it a second time um so then also after i did that all i did was spray the hyper dressing onto all the fender walls uh just darken all the fender walls up 
just gives them that little nice darkness to it um so that's it that's my quick wash it took maybe i don't know 35 minutes something like that to do it so once again i just want to say thank you for all the support um you know over the last two months i mean i haven't really put anything on youtube and i've gained uh probably about 200 subscribers during that time so uh, i just want to thank everybody for that um i'm going to try to come out with some type of more content uh you know, i don't want to put out too much bs that will just you know dilute down my channel and probably just annoy people I'm trying to do videos that um you know that help other people that you know have c5 corvettes that you know could find my videos useful so if you haven't done so already please subscribe um if you like this video please give me a thumbs up like i said i'm gonna be at carlisle tomorrow today is friday the 24th tomorrow is uh saturday the 25th so i'm gonna be out there like i said probably around 10 o'clock and um you know probably stay until i don't know maybe one two o'clock something like that uh, i'm not gonna spend all day there uh we we only just go out for the day um it's always just you know we don't really plan ahead kind of if the weather's nice we just go uh, one day i do want to like go out there and and um you know stay for like the corvette parade and all that stuff uh but this year i'm not going to be doing that uh, still just going out for the day and then uh driving back so uh, like I said, thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.